Happy Friday, guys. Today, we will be doing some back squats. Uh, last week, we did front squats. This week, back squats. So we'll do that 4 3 2 wave. Again, feel it out. Okay, if you're feeling good today, maybe get to a little bit higher percentage or challenge yourself. If it's not feeling great, always work on technique. When you address the bar, though, make sure the bar is uh, connected to those traps. Hands outside the shoulders. You lift the bar off the rack. Take one step back. Feet shoulder width apart. We want our elbows under the bar. I'm pulling those shoulders down my back here. Okay. Big breath. I'm keeping the rib cage down. I'm screwing my feet into the ground and unlink, unlocking those ankles, knees, and hips. Applying pressure in the ground with the legs here. Same balance in the foot. I'll push the earth away. Standing tall, squeezing my glute. All right. So starting off with four reps. For this one, you have a good amount of rest here, two and a half minutes in between um, each of your sets. So next set, add a little bit of weight uh, as you move on. And then hopefully the next four, three, two, you get a little bit heavier than the first four, three, two. All right. Um, after that, our conditioning piece. We'll do some more squatting. This time, the squatting, the bar will start on the ground. We're going to be doing some front squats. So we'll start off uh, doing a power clean, or you can do the first rep as a, a squat clean. It's going to be three rounds here. You're going to catch the bar, front rack position, maintain elbows high, vertical torso, standing tall. Okay. Ten reps. Should be a weight that you can... Um, Challenge yourself by going unbroken through. Okay, so do the best you can there. The second and third round will get a little bit more challenging, but um, try to fight putting the bar down. You'll come over to your row, okay? This is where you're gonna get your heart rate up, okay? So you wanna go hard on this row here. Put in the pad, drive with the legs, fish and pull with the upper body, reverse that process, hinge, Leg drive. Okay, after your 20 cal row for the guys, 15 for the ladies, you'll go back into those front squats and then back to the row. After that third round, you're gonna take a look at the clock, take a two minute rest, All right? After your two minute rest, or during your two minute rest, you're gonna add a little bit of weight to the bar and we're gonna do some deadlifts instead. So you can alternate your grip for this, okay? Or do uh, overhand grip, it's up to you. Depends on how heavy the weight is. But again, should be close to going unbroken with this weight, okay? Again, always maintain good back position, driving with the legs as you extend tall. Then you've got your wall balls. Little bit bigger set here, the wall balls. If you're using some targets, always turn the J-hooks around. Um, you don't want the ball to catch a J-hook, tear the ball. But wall balls always start firstly with a squat, and then you're tossing your ball up to the target. Make sure you're keeping the elbows high as you go down in those squats. Okay, nice vertical torso. So again, challenge yourself there on the, the wall balls as far as going unbroken. If you need to take sets that, or rest, that's totally fine. Just make sure you shorten the, the rest, okay? Your finisher will just be some foam rolling. Um, the legs, they might be a little bit smoked from today. 